Welcome to the video guys, very excited to have you here. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Very, very grateful to have you viewing the video right now. The idea of my videos, if you're new, to, if you're new, is to be very open and transparent. I'm a huge fan of learning from other people, other people's mistakes, obviously my own mistakes as well, but learning what other people have done to achieve the things that they've achieved so I can shortcut my learning curve and achieve the similar things faster. But the challenge that I find, and you might find the same thing, so many people, post a motivational video or a post where it's just so cliche in general. Go chase your dream, make sacrifices, put in the hard yards, be consistent, think long term. Obviously, I will mention some of those, but I'm gonna be very practical with you. I'm gonna be so transparent. I'll show you all of my numbers. I'll show you all of my mistakes. I'll share with you the most vulnerable challenges that I've been through, the mistakes I've had, the lawsuits that I've been through, just the normal lessons that you have as an entrepreneur. But I wanna take you with me so I can share with you my challenges that I have mentally, psychologically, lessons that I haven't learned yet from a legal perspective, an accounts perspective. I just wanna show you what it is that I've done to achieve the things I have already achieved and the things that I'm going to be achieving in the future. So if this sounds like something you'd enjoy, please smash the like button. It really helps out massively. So if you get any value out of this video, all I ask in return is that you hit that like button for me. It takes you five seconds, not even that, and it really, really helps me out. Without further ado, let's get into it. I'm gonna be showing you how at 22 years old, I owned three gym franchises on the Gold Coast. So first of all, guys, just the basic story is I started when I was 18 years old. So I actually repeated year 12. So I had big ambitions to go to university to be a high school teacher and also a personal trainer in the holidays because I had a teacher in school. He really changed my life because he did so much more for me than anyone else. The plan was to be a teacher, and a personal trainer. So I started, I repeated year 12 to get into university because I was doing so much sport. So I decided, you know what, let's do year 12 over two years. My school offered that as an option and we'll go from there. During my repeat year of year 12, so my second year of year 12, I was 18 years old at the time, I decided that, you know what, it's time to start getting into the fitness industry. So I started, as most, I guess, 18 year olds with no experience do, I started applying for jobs and I called up probably 10 to 12 gyms in the local area. The big gyms, the Good Life, Well Gym, uh, F45, Globe Gym, Anytime Fitness, Snap Fitness, Jets Fitness. I actually got a trial at Jets Fitness in Palm Beach on the Gold Coast. Where I went down, I did a trial with them. I didn't get a call back, didn't get the job. But essentially, I applied to as many gyms as I could and they all said no. I actually stopped and I said, you know what, I'm not good enough for this. This is too hard. I'm not even getting a start. Let's just not worry about it for now. We'll, we'll take care of it later. So I went back to school. I kept doing my things. And then a friend of mine, she actually got a job in a gym. And if I was honest, and I was maybe in a bit ego at the time, I said, I think I'm better than you. If you can get a job at a gym, so can I. So I jumped online and I jumped on Gumtree. I jumped on there to start to look for a job. And I found this gym and I'd never heard it before. I called them up and I said, hey mate, look, my name's Lewis. I don't want any money. I just want to work for free because I want to get some work experience. Is that okay? And he says, absolutely, come on down. But I went down, long story short, I got started and I said, hey mate, look, I don't want to get paid. I just want to learn. I've got no skills, but I'm very enthusiastic and I'm willing to work and I'm willing to learn off you if you're willing to teach me. And uh, Scott at the time said, mate, absolutely, let's get started. Now, there's some funny things that happened along the way, but long story short he actually he charged me a gym membership so I was paying a gym membership to work there and by the way I was working Monday to Sunday I was doing stuff every single day taking classes cleaning the gym doing gym memberships doing sales I was doing everything and I wasn't getting paid a cent actually I was paying to be there that was me for a while and during that time we're also within that business we did network marketing and I'll do another video on network marketing or pyramid schemes. But I was doing network marketing, so I was able to actually increase my income as well through doing that. And I actually ended up making about two to $3,000 a week at 20 years old. So I was making some good money. I was starting to learn sales, I was starting to learn marketing, I was starting to learn leadership or recruitment. I started to learn a hell of a lot of things. Anyways, this went on for two and a half years. 
So I worked for free, I actually paid for a job for two and a half years. I was obviously making money through the Herbalife, that's the network marketing company that we were part of. So I was making money through there, but I was also working, taking classes, doing gym sales, and not getting paid for it. Anyways, after about two and a half years, uh, the CEO of the company, the founder of the company, uh, Scott said, look mate, I actually wanna start franchising this business. I would love to sell you this business very cheaply to reward you for the time that you've put into this while I go out and open up another couple of these. I said, mate, absolutely, thank you very much. And he's like, look, it's going to cost you $30,000. So at the time I was about 20 years old and he says 30 grand. I'm like, holy shit, I haven't got that much money. Like I've never seen that much money in my life. That was a lot of money to me back then. And I said, you know what? I'm going to make it happen. So I spoke to everyone that I knew. I actually ended up getting a loan off a family member. Uh, she gave me the money and then I put that into the business and then I owned 50% of my first gym. And then I started to learn a lot about business. I started to learn the ins and outs, the, the dealing with landlords, dealing with accountants, dealing with lawyers, dealing with employees, with managers, with fair work, with like so much stuff that you don't even know, like you've never heard of it before. So I bought that business, I owned 50% of it, and then four to six months into that, Scott, who was the business partner, he said, mate, let's do another one. And just FYI, we had no clue what we were doing. We didn't have any systems, we didn't have any procedures, we didn't have any cash in the bank ready for a rainy day, we didn't have any of that stuff but we were just excited. We were just having fun. There was stressful moments. I was tired or exhausted. I had challenges as everyone does, but everything we were doing was so fun. It was so enjoyable. It was so entertaining. So we really enjoyed the process of it. And anyways, he said, mate, let's do another one. And I said, okay. And I, I was literally that guy that said, yeah, that sounds sick. Let's do it without thinking about it. And that obviously, would lead to challenges. I'm gonna share that in other videos where it really cost me really badly. Anyways, I said yes to it. We said, let's go. We started literally looking for buildings, sites the next day. And within about a week, we found a building and we found it. It was in uh, on the Gold Coast, if anyone's on the Gold Coast. The first gym I had was in Burley. The second one was in Coomera. So we found a building literally within a week, started talking to the landlords and started to negotiate the deals. I remember this was a really cool moment. I got the keys to the building to start like doing the renovations and start laying the mats and putting the equipment together. We got the keys to it April 2nd, 2017 or 2018. So I got the keys to that building on my 21st birthday. So that was a really cool feeling because I literally, I got the keys of my landlord, John, and I said, hey mate, thank you so much. It's actually my, my birthday today. I turned 21, I'm out to celebrate. And he said, mate, go enjoy yourself. Congratulations on doing so well, so young or getting started. That was the second one. And I worked there, and again, I'll share my journey later in more detail, but that was a very huge learning experience. Starting to run a business while not being in another, another business. So I really started to learn the differences of working in the business and working on the business because obviously I couldn't be in two places at once. After that guys, about a, two years into that and that, that business was doing very well, it was actually the highest member base within the franchise at, at one point. There was an opportunity that popped up where someone came to me and said, hey, Louis, I am actually gonna open up another one of these gyms. I'm looking for some shareholders to come into it. And I essentially, I put 50 grand into that deal and to get 25% of this business. And then the owner of that business actually came to me and said, Louis, I actually don't really wanna build this. I'm kind of over it. I'm willing to give you all of my shares. You don't have to pay for it. The business will pay back the debt that owes to this person, but I'll give you all of my shares and you can have the business. And I said, you know what, yep, yeah, I'm in, let's go. And so I jumped into it and essentially, and that's when I was 22. So that's where I got my third business at the age of 22. Now within that to now, there has been tons of challenges. There's had been so many learning curves because um, an awesome line that I actually heard on my podcast that I did with one of my guests, Jack Deloso, if you know the name, he said something that really resonates with me and I share it with everyone now. No matter who you are or what you think you are or how good you think you are, every entrepreneur needs to do their apprenticeship as a business owner, as an entrepreneur. It doesn't matter what books you've read, it doesn't matter what courses you've done, you need to do your apprenticeship. You need to get on the tools, 
as I would say, you need to get your hands dirty and you need to learn how to do business. You need to learn how to sell. You need to learn how to market. You need to learn how to hire. You need to learn how to systemize. You need to learn how to scale. Get your hands dirty and make mistakes. And that was very much me for the last five years now. So I started 18, I'm now 23. Now I wanna go through that. I wanna give you five massive steps of how you can achieve very, very similar or just achieve results in general because this is what's really worked for me. Number one, get started. I hear so many friends, so many family members, so many people on social media that are telling me about their grand plan to achieve incredible things of how they're gonna do this and they're gonna start this, they're gonna make all this money, they're gonna take it public, they're gonna do all this stuff and it's like, you haven't even got started yet. And it's like, like don't, stop getting paralyzed by perfection. Get started. Just literally whatever dream you've got, like what I did, I started applying at jobs and I got knocked back. And then I said, you know what, let's just call up and just literally work for free. That's what I did. Now you'll hear this in another step that I'm gonna give you. So number one, guys, get started. Make the social media platform. Start making videos like what I'm doing right now. Start talking to people. Start making sales, making content. Just get started. That's the biggest hurdle for most people. They just, they're paralyzed by perfection and they just don't want to get started because it's not ready or it's not perfect or they don't know what to do. You're not going to know what to do. I've had so many so many things that have gone wrong. I've lost so much money for, for to, to learn things. So there's no way around it guys, just get started. Number two, this is something that I don't hear too many people talk about and this is massive for me and it's what really helped me out. Find a boss or a leader who is inspiring. Don't work for someone who's got no energy, who's not passionate, who has no vision. It's like the, if the leader's here, you will never surpass the leader. So if you want to do incredibly well, if you're if the person you're working for is down here, then you're never gonna get past them and you're gonna be held back by that. Find a leader that is inspiring. Number three, do everything you can to learn from the leader. Now again, I'm not sure the business that you're gonna get started into, you might not have direct access to the owner or the founder, like something I was very grateful for, I had that access. I was literally working alongside the boss the whole time. We were bouncing ideas off each other. We came best friends, we're best friends to this day. Do the best you can to learn from the people that you look up to the most. And this is where you wanna learn, you wanna ask questions. And the second part to this point, is also do extra work, even if you have to do it for free. I worked for two and a half years and I paid to do that. I'm not saying be that extreme because I don't think many people in a financial situation do that. I was living at home at the time, I was still living with my parents and I had the opportunity, I didn't have heaps of expenses, I didn't have a mortgage, I didn't have kids. So I had the luxury of doing that. But what I would suggest is obviously make enough so you can get by and pay your bills and put some money away for, for, um, for investments or a rainy day fund, but also do extra work for free. So hey, look, whatever, John, Bob, Sarah, whoever the leader is, I really wanna get better at this. I wanna be a great entrepreneur. Do you have any extra roles that I can learn from you or any extra things that I can do to learn? Number four, and this is the cliche one that I mentioned at the start, but make sacrifices. You're not gonna go out and party every weekend. You're not gonna be out and go out and buy the glamorous toys and the glamorous gifts when you're getting started. You need to make sacrifices. And again, I'll make some content on this on how to really minimize your expenses so you can, especially early days, put money away for when shit hits the fan and make sure that you are putting that money into more investments long term. And I'll talk about that in other videos. And number five, guys, invest into your own growth. I'm talking books podcasts, YouTube videos like what we're doing right now, or courses or programs or coaches. Make sure you're investing into your own growth because if you want your life to get better, you need to get better. That's a very famous line from Jim Rohn. So guys, invest into your own development. Podcasts every day, books every day, courses, programs on a yearly basis. Make sure you're investing into your own growth because if you want your life to get better, you need to get better. You don't get what you want, you get who you are. So if you want more, you need to become more. That's it for the video, guys. This is actually my first one doing this style of talk in long form. So I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you got any value out of it, if you could smash that like button, it would really, really help me out. I'm really gonna be doing this long term consistently because I love teaching. I love being transparent because like I mentioned at the start, 
I wish more people were transparent. I'd love to hear exactly what stocks to buy so I can just literally go do that off someone who's getting great results in that area. I can learn how to hire, I can learn how to systemize, I can learn how to scale, I can learn what to do when buying an investment property. I know obviously people have courses and books of how to do that, but some people like myself, I love to learn through just hearing people's transparent journeys and their stories and just learning through videos like what you're watching right now. So I hope that helped guys. Smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. See you on the next video and thank you for being a part of the journey. Bye for now.